Thank you, Michael. Next, I am going to call up Kim Parachi, who will be evaluating Vaughn's speech. Kim Parachi. Because I think that you're so experienced, I tend to focus on what you're not doing or not doing well. But let me tell you what I think you did well. You made the purpose of your speech very clear in two ways. First of all, you gave the Toastmaster Swarna a very excellent introduction. And you picked an excellent title, I thought. The title of your speech, which was something. Uh, let us know what... <laughs> what you were going to be talking about. It may also help me because I think Swarna gave the speech once, didn't you? Yeah. I'd like to talk to you about what I believe you could have done better. I would prefer if you had hung your, your paper up somewhere else, which was another way of letting us know the purpose of your speech, maybe in back of you, and then I think it would have been better if you moved this. Part of Part of small talk is spacing with the people you're meeting. It just, it, the whole thing I thought would have been better displayed, better shown, if you had been talking in front of this lecture instead of being it. The other thing is I feel that you failed to meet all of the objectives of your speech. Specifically, I feel that you did not model for the club asking open-ended questions. When you first brought John up, you could have asked, what did you bring to the party? Instead, you talked about what you brought to the party. And you did ask some questions, but they weren't about John necessarily. Like you asked if Steve had allergies. It was asking about, you talked about, um, Chris and John? Chris and John. Okay, okay, let me review my notes quick. Okay, and you also started, yes, how you knew, did I already say this? How you knew people in the party, you could have asked John how he knew. I'm confused myself, how you actually started, but you also asked, you also told how you knew people in the party, that were having the party, and you could have asked John how he knew the people that were having the party. Is that true? <laughs> I feel like it is. Um, you talked about your wife, and then John did a magnificent job of modeling what you were supposed to do, and he said, um, what does she do? I'd love to meet her. And so I feel like you could have prepared better if you had come into this speech with already prepared questions that you could ask anybody at any party. For example, um, what brought you to Chapel Hill? Are you married? How many children do you have? Etc. My life's been on. I don't know how long, so I'm going to close up. <laughs> <laughs> 